What happens when metals react with acids? You have already learned that the metals react with acids to give a salt and hydrogen gas. But all metals do not react in the same manner. Let us see the experimental activity. Take the magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron and copper samples separately in the test tubes containing dilute hydrochloric acid. Suspend thermometers in the test tubes so that their bulbs are dipped in the acid. Observe the rate of formation of bubbles carefully. Which metals reacted vigorously with dilute hydrochloric acid? You must have observed here the rate of formation of bubbles was the fastest in the case of magnesium and also the most exothermic. The reactivity decreases in the order magnesium greater than aluminium greater than zinc greater than iron. Copper does not react with dilute hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen gas is not evolved when a metal reacts with nitric acid because it is a strong oxidizing agent. But magnesium and manganese react with very dilute nitric acid to evolve hydrogen gas. How do metals react with solutions of other metal salts? Take two test tubes containing iron sulfate and copper sulfate solution. Put the copper wire in a solution of iron sulfate and the iron nail in a solution of copper sulfate. Observe what reaction takes place after 20 minutes. Reactive metals can displace less reactive metals from their compounds in solution. We have seen in the previous sections that all metals are not equally reactive. Displacement reactions give better evidence about the reactive metals. It is simple and easy if metal A displaces more than metal B from its solution. It is more reactive than B. The reactivity series. Potassium is more reactive than zinc and gold is the least reactive. 